Lava flowing from the volcano that erupted last weekend on the Spanish island of La Palma has now destroyed about 200 homes. There are fears that when the lava hits the sea, it will create toxic gases and explosions. Our correspondent Dan Johnson reports now from La Palma. It's possible the wind direction's changed today because we're starting to see more ash falling in other places. This is La Laguna, a village that's just outside the restricted zone. These are the roadblocks where police are keeping people back from the villages that have been evacuated. Occasionally, a few residents are allowed through to get the last of their belongings. Uh, but in the main, there are more roadblocks and more roads that are disrupted because of where the lava is flowing. Some roads have been completely smothered, others the police have closed uh, to keep people back. And you can see how much ash has fallen here. And it's coming down the whole time. Sometimes really fine volcanic dust, sometimes thicker particles. If I hold out my hand, you might be able to actually see it falling from the sky and landing. And that is happening continuously. That's why we've got the masks and we've also got eye protection as well. One other problem has been traffic jams because of the amount of roads that are closed. The traffic is building up, people trying to get through, and there's a risk that this side of the island actually gets cut off by the lava flow. That will probably happen at some point. So we're starting to see how everyday life is being disrupted here, and this eruption is causing problems not just for the people whose homes are directly at risk. And the big question is how long will this last and what will the future impact be? We've seen banana plantations, which are the main source of industry here. We've seen banana leaves covered in ash. Will they be productive in future? That's one question. But for now, the emphasis is still on the volcano that continues to erupt. And the sky is looking a bit darker today with that ash cloud continuing to spread particles right across the eastern and the southern tip of La Palma.